thanks for joining me today I want to talk about the Too Faced chocolate gold palette this did cost $49 I got this from Ulta and I think I got it when they were having a coupon that was 20% off um, even on a prestige brands because normally this is, uh, brand is not included in the normal coupons so at $49 for 14 shadows in here and here is what the package the palette itself looks like I love their packaging and this one does have a little bit of a weight to it and you can see here's my hand that it is a pretty big palette so we will open it up and get started and on this video I'm not going to talk about the history of Too Faced I did another review video on the Too Faced Tutti Frutti palette and on that one I went in depth about the history of the company so I will link that down below if you want to learn about them okay so we open this up and you have the mirror with Too Faced on it and then here is the shadows and of course it does smell like chocolate which is great and I was surprised to find out when I was reading the uh, back of it that the foiled shadows are made with some flecks of real gold and to get that chocolate smell I wasn't surprised about this but all shadows are infused with cocoa powder they it is 100% cruelty free so what I'm gonna do is well first I wanted to talk about the wearability and the longevity of the colors I am wearing this to, on today and I wanted to show that you can have kind of a more subtle look that when you look at this you see a lot of metallics and bright colors but you can still it's a very still wearable palette as long as you like some looks with glitter and metallic because today I have a very subtle I feel like more neutral look on now I did put eyeshadow primer I used Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on this eye and none on this eye and this is about after t 10 hours of wearing it and I think that you can see this eye with the eye primer the glittery shadow that I had kind of near the inner corner is definitely lasted a lot longer I think that you still have some of the pigment over here but I definitely think that wearing an eye primer will help you with the longevity and the pigmentation of these colors and I think that the glitter kind of was more smoother on my lid when I used the primer on that eye okay so that I feel like they are pigmented and they're easy to blend I didn't have a problem with that but I would definitely recommend if you want brighter pigmentation and more long wearing to use an eye primer first. And I did find that with the Tutti Frutti palette as well. The matte colors over here, I did see less fallout than the glittery shadows. This color is not a real pigmented, but it's just a nice base for your eyeshadow and also just a good one to kind of blend out things. So there was some color fall, or there was, yeah, some fallout, mostly on the green up here and the money bags. So I love the names. And I'm just gonna show you also, I'm gonna put, I'm not going out anymore today, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some shadows on my eyes just so you can see them. I'm just gonna do with my fingers. So here is the money bags, which I really like this color. Just put it on there. And I did find that the shimmery shadows I did like better putting it on with my finger. I just felt like I got less fallout and oops, just a more even color on so here it is on so yeah I think it's just a really pretty green and in the pan I feel like there it looks more glitter than kind of on the eyes okay so I think that I'll go ahead and start swatching and we might as well start with that green so I'll do this column down we have money bags love and cocoa 
and Hala for Dalla is the bottom one. So those three. And they are pretty soft and velvet. So there it's money bags. So you can see on the eye, I granted I had some color on underneath, but I do feel like it's a brighter color on the eye than when you swatch it. So this is the Love for Coco. I got kind of a big swatch there, but very pretty. I think that that color you could really use a lot of different ways. And here's Holler for a Dollar. So you can see there's a little bit of patchiness in the swatch, but overall I think that these are really pigmented and yeah, I like those. Wipe off my hands here. So let's see, then we will go to the next I'll do. This is Chocolate Gold. This one is Old Money and then Gold Dipper. Gold dipped, excuse me. And I have used those quite a bit. Let's see, the chocolate gold. I don't know if I can put it over. Oh yeah, I'll just kind of put it over the gold. And you can see that it is really pigmented. I know that I'm putting them over other shadows, but. So I put the gold on the inner kind of corner there. And so I think that you can see that you can still build it on top of the eyeshadows and it still gives an overall a good look. It doesn't get too cakey on the lid. Okay, so chocolate gold. Yeah, look how pretty that is. Then we got old money and gold dipped. Whoops. Let me try that gold dipped again. Yeah. Okay, so the chocolate gold, I just, I really like that color. I'd probably say that the gold and the green are my favorite as far as kind of the shimmers. Um, there's that one. And if you want the gold dipped, I think is good if you don't want quite as yellow of a gold. Okay, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to clean off my hand. So I'd love to know down below if you have tried this palette and what you thought of it and what you think of Too Faced palettes overall. So far, I have been happy with the Too Faced palettes. Um, like I said, I think that if you wear a primer underneath, it really does help these shadows stay on longer. Okay, so... Oh, hands nice and clean. Okay, so then we'll just do these two. This hot pink is New Money, and the purple plum color is Livin' Lavish. So let's see if I put on the pink out here just to kind of show you. Again, I know I have a shadow on underneath, but I think that this palette is nice because you can just work with a couple different shadows and create, you know, like kind of an everyday look, or you can really use the wide range of colors that they offer and kind of have more of a crazy kind of look, or not really crazy, but more daring. Okay, so there's kind of what the pink looks like. So New Money, and then Live and Lavish, the purple. There you go. Then the next column is more metallics. This top one is Rich Girl. Then we have Famous and Drippin' Diamonds is the silver. And the Rich Girl, the other ones do seem soft and creamy, but this Rich Girl seems extra velvet, velvety soft. I'm not sure exactly why that is, that some of them just seem ultra, ultra soft. And then here's um, Famous and Drippin' Diamonds. Yeah, look at that silver. I mean, that is, I feel like you could just create some great looks with that. And okay, so I'm just gonna kind of compare. So we have 
the dripping diamonds was here and I'm going to compare that with the gold dipped just so you can kind of see like well actually let's compare the gold dipped with that's rich girl so a lot of the shades you know they are kind of similar hmm. you know what are we gonna when I'm cleaned I'm gonna clean off my hand after I go through all the swatches and do the ones that I think are pretty similar and see if we can see a difference okay clean hand again then we have, or now we're more into the mattes. We still have one shimmer color left, but this one on top, the matte is Cocoa Truffle. Then we have Classic and Sassy, and this is Rolling in the Dough, which is a nice, like I said, base color. Cocoa Truffle is very velvety soft as well. So there's your matte color, Classy and Sassy. And wipe off my fingers here for rolling in the dough. And that one is actually very velvety creamy as well. So there is those. And the last two over here, we have Decadent is the black and So Bougie is the other one. So, okay, Decadent and Decadent feels like it's almost like fabric when you go to touch it. It's really velvety and yeah, it just feels like you're touching fabric instead of shadow. And that's definitely a black. So if you like black eyeshadows, it definitely has a lot of pigment. And then the So Bougie, as you can see, it's not as pigmented as some of the other ones. But I think that is good to have kind of a combination in a palette so that you can work with them. Okay, clean this off. And just so we can kind of see, because I find it interesting, is some of these colors, you know, you kind of look at the gold dripped and famous, and it's like, are those that much different? Or the love and cocoa. Oh, um, is that the one I'm thinking? No, old money. Like some of them just kind of seem similar. So we're gonna see how they really look when you swatch them. Okay, so I'm gonna do gold dipped. That's gold dipped. Then famous. And we'll throw, yeah, I think that those are the ones that look the most similar because you have rich girl oh gosh that's velvety too so you can see that even though they kind of are similar I feel like they're still different enough this one is definitely more bronze and then you have more of a yellow and the rich girl has more of the silver undertones to it then if we compare let's do the old money and classic and sassy this is the old money and classic and sassy so again those kind of look similar in the pan but old money classy and sassy so yeah they're very similar but you can see that they are different so even if you look at the um, shadows and say oh, okay how many different looks I can I get I think that they are different enough that you are going to be able to create quite a few different looks with this I wouldn't recommend this palette if you don't like any shimmers because even though you do have four matte colors, you know, the majority of them are shimmer kind of glitters. So I, again, wouldn't only recommend this if you do like wearing glitters or shimmers and if you want to experiment. I think that I'm glad that they do have the matte colors because I've created quite a few different looks with just this palette and not having to go reach for any other eyeshadows. Uh, let's see what else can I say about it and here's how it looks it just kind of goes open like that and you have ingredients down here if you're interested in that it says the bulk of this is made in the US it's assembled in Dominican Republic the shelf life after you open this is 12 months 
And I think that's about it. So there you have it, the Chocolate Gold palette for $49. So would I purchase this again? I think that I would actually purchase this again because I really like the metallic colors because before I was trying to do some glitter colors and I just felt like I was having trouble getting the glitters to stay on. And if it's too glittery, I think that it was making my eyelids look kind of wrinkly. So I feel like these shimmers are give me the look of having kind of a glittered eye without being a true glitter, if that makes sense. So I am happy with it. I do like it. There is some fallout, but I don't think a huge amount that you can't deal with, just brush it off. And like I said, I felt like if you use your fingers to pat the shadow on, it's less fallout. So I hope that that was helpful. And let me know again, do you have the chocolate, any Too Faced um, palettes and which ones you like the best? And I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs well, up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.